All right, guys, my name is Lil Chef, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your playmakers in NCAA. Now, this particular process involves using a computer, using a flash drive, and then also editing a save file. So make sure you do have a backup if you are doing this, because me personally, I almost lost everything at least once. So you got to be careful with what you're doing. Now, as we just finished week eight, we have Nevada. We ended up winning. Good for us. But what we had did before the game that started was we went in and adjusted our playmakers. We had set it to where George was a playmaker on offense, which is my starting halfback, George. And as you can see the star roll around here in just a second, bam, is an impact player. And then my wide receiver was Green, who's also the impact player. Now beforehand, he wasn't. It was it was George and Wynn. So we can go in and set this via the save file. You can do it for four impact players. I don't know if there's a limit on offense or defense, if you can put all four on offense or all four on defense, I don't know that for sure. I'm going to test that out myself. But my other option was Robinson on defense and then my free safety of Testa Lama. Those were the edits I did make. Now in the, the death penalty series, you can also go in and adjust bowl games. Now I took myself out of a bowl game and then essentially moved everybody else in the SEC up a, 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 a rung, <laughs> I guess. So the next person that was behind me moved up, and then the person who was just outside moved up, and I, I avoided the bowl game. I might show you how to do that. I might not. Where I'm at right now in that series is not quite there yet, but for now, this is where we're sitting at. You can edit. So we saw we saw who we had. Those were all four, four playmakers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this to my flash drive. It's already saved to my hard drive, and it's already saved to my flash drive. I'm going to save it again. I don't want to override my current one because I use that every day and I don't want to mess with mess with it, mess it up. So we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it uh, save edit just so I know what it is for future references. And then after this, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Now, the next part is going to involve us jumping to the computer, making the edits, and then we'll come back into the game, load up this exact save file and see what the changes are made. So. We'll be right back on the computer. All right, now we're on the computer. It's gonna be a little different. I gotta look to my side, so it's gonna be a little weird, but essentially what you have on your flash drive once you do it is I have two things. You wanna look for content. You transferred your save file to your, your, your flash drive, you're good to go. So for me, it's gonna look for a particular number set. I only have one profile on my Xbox. It's the only profile I've messed with, so it's the only one that shows. The all zeros, I think, is nothing. You wanna look for the other one. You're just going to keep going into it until you see the save files. As you can see, I have all my save files here. We're looking for save edit. That's the one we want to make sure we pull across in the next program. Now, the complicated part is you have to have a certain program to do it. I tried using Modio is what they recommend. I tried using the most recent one up to date. It did not work. I had to go to version three. I'll try to put a link in the description the best I can. And I found all this information on the operation sports forums. These people have already figured it out. You people are wanting to know. How I did it I'll just give you a link to the forum post and then as well as links to each individual download so you could do it yourself now for me I don't log in I don't do anything else open from device doesn't work for me I do open from a save so I go ahead and click that and then when that pops open you can see all the availability stuff here I want to make sure I go to my USB flash drive and then go through the same steps we just did a while ago content all the way down until you see your save edit you want to open up dynasty save edit Go ahead and open that, wait for it to process and it's gotta do its thing. Now for me, you just go straight to file contents and then you see the edit here. You don't need to worry about any of this other information up here. It's not important. You just wanna to go to file contents, you will right click it and you'll go to extract file. Whenever that pops up, for me it's all under documents or downloads. And I have it saved under two different editors. The first editor here is for the non team builder series now if you have a team builder series you have to use a specific editor to do it it's the same editor but it's been altered in a way to make team builder teams work so i have two separate instances of it this one's for team builder edits only and i also have a folder called save so i know what's up to date and what's not i'm just going to go ahead and save it here bam good to go and i leave this open you don't want to mess with it yet you want to leave it open make sure it's done and now that we are in this folder here if you see saves save edit it's there Easy, easy peasy, nice and easy. So we already have this EADB editor open. Like I said, this one's specific for Team Builder. If you don't have a Team Builder team, you don't need to worry about this particular one, but there is another default EADADB editor that you can download that's not for Team Builders. 
So what you want to do is first off load a config file. Now for me, I use the Zans NCAA 14 Dynasty config. This gives me all the information I need to edit the impact players. You can use the, the pocket scout, you can use that one, but it should come default with these four. I don't mess with anything else other than the dynasty config. That's that's all I do. You go ahead and hit open. Then once that's done, it'll load across a whole lot of bars across the top. So you'll see that it has been loaded in the config file. So this is a different tab you can go through once you load in your save file and you can adjust everything that you want to adjust. The next thing you want to do is open. So you load the config first, then you go to open. And for me, I want to make sure I edit the save edit. Go ahead and hit open. And it takes a little bit for it to work. It's magic because it's got to load everything in. For my particular instance, it's a lot of save files. So it might take a minute, but we'll be, we'll be right on it here in just a second. All right, finally got it done, loaded in. Everything's good to roll. Now what I like to do is I sort by team ID. If I'm using a team builder team, I know I can click it twice and it should populate it down to the to where the team builder teams are. You load them in last, it makes the most sense. So I do it once, do it again, bam, Gonzaga's right here, we're good to go. Now you can go in, you could probably change each individual stat if you wanted to. I think this is how they do the rosters in general. If not, they, wow. <laughs> I mean, regardless of how they do it, it's still intense. Now the big reason for this is you wanna know the player ID number because the next part is really freaking complicated sometimes <laughs> trying to find the right player because it's not in any particular order. It's just kind of random as far as I can tell. But you want to look for a particular player. So we want George as a playmaker already. We want to adjust it to, to somebody else. George is going to stay. We're going to try to add Patrick as our third option as an impact player. We'll also adjust the other two so we can see. But this is what you want to look at. Player data. This is where we're good. Now the next step to set your impact players, you go to team data. That's it. Now, once again, you could sort it. This is a little bit more complicated. The team ID doesn't really match up. I just kind of scroll down until I see my team. Right now, my team is 52. My ID is 904. That's about all I could tell you what to do. You can go in, you can change conferences, divisions, your rivals, anything you want. You can do it in this little place as well. So you'll just scroll over until you get to the about the middle of the screen. You can see the scroll bar down here. I have Green, Tessa Lama, Robinson, and George as my four impact players. That's it. That's the only four I have. So we're going to take Green, double click his name, and it'll give you a drop down box. Like I said, it's hard to tell since he's down towards the bottom. It's easier, but somebody like Tessa Lama, he's more in the middle of all the other players, so it's hard to decide who's going to be who. So we want to make somebody else. Some of these guys that are down at the bottom were the custom recruits we added after year one. So. That, that's why they show down here at the bottom. Now for the other guys, they're going to be a little bit higher up. We are looking for, and we're looking for Juan Patrick. Now, another little trick that I know is instead of trying to search for it and pick through one at a time, you just go to team data and let's say we want Patrick over here. You could double click his name, go ahead and click the drop down box. And we know he's a little bit above halfway on the list and he's up at the top next to Eric Rivas, Anthony George. So we have an idea of where he's at. So I can come back over here. And I always like to try to find Tessa Lama because his name's so <laughs> not normal. So we know we need to go a little above halfway. Okay, we're good to go there. And now it's just a search process. We'll, we'll find him real quick and I'll be right. Or actually, we're here. Juan Patrick, bam, set him. I don't think the numbers matter, one, two, three, or four. But we set Patrick, Tessa Lama, Roberts, and George as our impact players. We're going to go ahead and change these just for so you can see the process. But you want to make sure it's on your team. I don't think... I don't think it'll work if you put somebody else on your team. We'll do Richard Kinney. I know he's one of my receivers as well. So we added Patrick. We added Kinney. And we're going to leave Robinson and George so you can see. Actually, let's go ahead and do, do win over here so you can see that happen in, in the update whenever we do update it. So win should be a playmaker. Robinson's going to stay a playmaker. Kinney will be a playmaker. And then Juan Patrick will be a playmaker. That's how we're going to do it. So we're going to go file and then save. It takes a minute, it doesn't take near as long as it does to load in the actual save file, and then you'll get a little done, you hit okay, bam, you are done with this screen, you do not need it anymore, it is over. Simple, easy, nice to do, you're good to go. You can go ahead and close it if you want. Now this next part always confuses me personally, so make sure you follow along exactly. You wanna right click on it, and you wanna to go to replace file. And you always wanna make sure you pick a file from the one you just edited. You don't want to go back to your flash drive and grab it and do it again because it'll just override the same file. It doesn't make any sense. You want to go to the file you just edited. So we're looking for save edit. 
I don't ever select a database file. That's just for the actual EA DB editor itself. You want to select a non database file. Go ahead and hit open. And this takes a minute. So while it's loading, I always like to click on the general info tab. So whenever it does swap over, I know for a fact that it's done replacing that file and we're good to go. All right, so let's swap back over. We're good. As always, you want to make sure you don't put the flash drive in with the Xbox on. Don't take it out when the Xbox is on. Make sure you power everything off. Same thing with this flash drive. You want to make sure you eject it properly from your computer. So we're done with this screen. We don't need Modio anymore. We're good to go. All this stuff no longer necessary. So we're going to eject and good to go. We'll be right back in the game. All right, so we got it back on the, the game. We're ready to roll, go to Dynasty, load it up. Now, I always select hard drive just out of habit. I'm not used to having a USB device as a selected, so I always select the hard drive by default. So we want to select device, you hit X, or on PlayStation, I think it's square. Go to USB to storage device, you're good to go. It's gonna load all those save files there. Now, what we're looking for, and that's the only thing that sucks is, <laughs> it doesn't show you what the name of the file is. So we're gonna load this one, and hopefully it's the right one. It is Dynasty Save Edit. And we're gonna go in and look at the impact players to make sure everything's saved correctly, which it should. Now, if the game, if it doesn't work, it'll tell you before it even loads in, the file's corrupted, you'll need to redo it. That's why I said you always wanna make sure you have backups. So we're gonna go same thing, go to the edit roster, make sure everybody's set as they need to be win, should be a playmaker on offense, win is now an impact player. There you go, defense, or George should be the other one as well. Bam, well, actually no, not George. George is no longer the impact player. <laughs> oh, we made Kenny the impact player. All right, all right. So Kenny and Win, but changes we just made on the computer, now official in game. I would, I would do it before you advance it because I don't know if it's going to reset it or not um, after the advance because it always wants to make Win an impact player for some reason. Quarter, corner wise, Robinson's still the playmaker, and then Patrick should be the other playmaker. There you go. Simple, easy. Just make sure you back up your save file before you do this. I always save it immediately. <laughs> like as soon as I finish my game and as soon as I finish the recording, I go save my hard drive and I save it to the flash drive. And then when after I advance it, same thing, save it to the hard drive, immediately save it to the flash drive. And then I go in and edit the flash drive just in case I have a backup on, to me the backup is the flash drive. I would always use that as your backup just in case something does happen. Then then you, you know, hey, I got my hard drive one, it's good to go. I don't have to really, really worry about it. But that's how you do impact players now the game's a little bit more complicated i didn't get into that just because it, it requires a lot more um, in-depth stuff and i'm not quite to that stage yet in my series or any any of my series so i'll have to do that maybe at a later date if you guys are curious be sure to let me know but like i said everything has been done before if you want to look at the operation sports forums the link is in the description as well as the link to each program that you do need to get this done you also need a usb device mine my right here the one i have is 250 six megabytes that's it it's like the first usb device i ever got and and I, I still use it i mean it works great you don't have to have a super big like six gig you don't need or 12 gig or anything like that you don't need to worry about that it's a small save file so you're good to go but if you have any questions on how this is done be sure to let me know i hope this was informative i hope this answered a lot of your questions and i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys are new be sure to subscribe if you like the video be sure to leave a like my name is little chef and i will see y'all next time